Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Um, in a number of the videos that I've done up to now, I've suggested that one of the more likely emergency or crisis scenarios you're likely to face is the loss of mains utilities. So the water, the gas or the electricity supply is suddenly cut off. It would definitely be a crisis for most households, particularly the electricity supply, because we do depend on that for pretty much everything that we do nowadays. So if that were to happen and the electricity suddenly stopped, would you have an emergency power supply? If you don't, here's a suggestion. So it's Sunday afternoon and that means that I spend some time, normally a couple of hours, just going through some prepping items, making sure that they're working and they're where they should be. There'd be nothing worse than suddenly finding when something hits a fan that an item that you were depending on suddenly isn't working. Even more so if that was only because you hadn't kept up to date with the maintenance on it. So I'm out in the camper van this afternoon as I keep a couple of items, some of the more larger items in there so that they're ready to go at a minute's notice if something does hit the fan. Uh, and also in case of the larger items, because I just don't have enough space uh, in the house to store them. Today, um, I'm gonna check up on my emergency electricity generator Every couple of weeks I take it out, just give it a quick once over, let it run for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, um, make sure there are no issues with it and then just pop it back inside the camper van again. Um, so I thought while I was in here, I've also pulled out uh, some radios just again to make sure that they're working and to check that the batteries on them are topped up. So I might try and do a, a video on those a little bit later on today or maybe during the week so look out for that anyway back to the subject for today and the generator itself um, the generator I've got is a work zone it's a 2000 watt um, petrol inverter generator it's quite a compact size it's 50 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 45 centimeters and it weighs about 21 kilograms i got this for a variety of reasons you don't need to have such a high power generator but because i've got a um, microwave oven in the camper van i find that um, i can do lots of cooking on that but i do need a fairly chunky power supply and 2000 watt generator is enough for that in terms of uh, power for the house, if the power went out in the house, I can easily run lighting, a fridge, a freezer. So it's very, very good for its size if there was a power supply cut to the house itself. Another good thing about this uh, generator is that it's a four stroke engine. Uh, so you don't need to mix oil and petrol together like you do on some generators. With this, it's very similar to a car. You fill the petrol tank, it's a four litre tank, and you fill up the oil reservoir. And then you just need to ch check every now and again and top up the petrol or the oil as and when necessary. The generator is self-regulating. So as and when the demand load on the generator, for example, the more things that you plug into it uh, increases, the generator itself will speed up. Um, one final benefit of this as well, it will switch itself off. It automatically shuts down if there's an overload on the power supply or if the oil level is low. It's also very quiet. It puts out about 75 decibels of noise, which is really just like a, an electric uh, lawnmower. So not very loud at all. It's a simple process to start the generator. The top switch from off to on. There's a choke switch, switch that to start. And then at the bottom, there's a simple on off switch as well there. Grab the handle for the recoil action, pull the cord enough times until the generator starts and then put the choke switch back to run. So now that's up and running, 
I'll generally leave it for 10-15 minutes. As I said before, I'll do this every two weeks or so, just to keep it in good running order. You can't leave these lying around not used, otherwise they'll just seize up and fail when you need them most. Very compact machine, very useful. It's got two 230 volt power outlets that you can plug your appliances straight into with the normal plugs. It's also got a 12 volt DC output. So all in all, an excellent machine. This machine will run for around four hours on a full tank of petrol. So ideal for emergency use or for off grid use. So that's it for my portable electric generator. I just thought I'd share that with you since I was out here doing the normal maintenance on it anyway. The loss of mains utilities is probably one of the more likely scenarios where we could have a crisis situation pretty much at any time actually. So I would encourage you to think carefully about what you would do if your power went out and perhaps explore options where you could have a backup uh, means of providing your own electricity in the future. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found it to be informative. Please do leave your comments below. I'd be very interested to know what you do for emergency power supplies uh, or if you've got any general comments on what you've seen in the video. If you like the video, then please do click on the like button. Also feel free to hit the subscribe button so you can find your way back in the future and so you can be kept up to date with any future videos as and when we load them. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.